I'm standing in the cutting garden in my favourite bit at the moment. It's in the middle of July and Cosmos is just incredible. It's just flowering and flowering and it's fresh as a daisy at the moment so it couldn't be in a better state to pick. I'm going to make a bridal little posy that could either go as a table centre uh, for a wedding or could even perhaps be the actual bridal posy and I'm going to start for my sort of scaffolding, for my skeleton, I'm going to pick the beautiful white malope um, called Malope Trifida Alba. And I'm just going to pick three or four stems of that to start me off. Just like that. And then through that, I'm going to add Cosmos Purity, just tucked into it, like threading it through a sort of sieve. I always have a rule that you should cut into a bucket of water, not into your hand. But with a bridal posy, you kind of need to see how it's how it's shaping. Um, and so I am breaking my own rule and, and just threading it and making it literally as I go. Stripping the leaves, stripping any side shoots that I don't need. But just gradually building up the structure of the posy. Cosmos Purity is a half hardy annual and it could not be easier from seed. With a bit of basal heat um, in a propagator, you can actually, if you sow it in March or April, you can get it to germinate practically overnight. I mean, it just is it's wonderful and it's incredibly easy to grow from a seedling as well. Um, so it's, it's just one of those winter plants that is very stress-free and gives you huge quantities of cut flower. It gives us the highest square inch productivity of any plant that we grow at the whole of Perch Hill. It really is wonderful. So just nearly there on the white. Just threading it, if you want it even into right in the middle, you just thread it through into the rest, the sieve of the rest, and slot it in to fill a gap. And so I've got enough there now, but I really am a great believer in a little touch of contrast, even for bridal things. I just want a little splash of a different colour. Not too much, but it's what I call the gate crasher. And I'm just going to thread this other cosmos through it, just to give it a little bit of something other than white and green and yellow. enough. Five as an odd number is good. And then just as a finishing touch for an upper story, I'm going for the aptly named Gara the Bride. And this is going to hover above it like little butterflies stop it being too two dimensional.
and as with always with a hand tied bunch, use the same knot, double length, into your teeth and I've chosen this particularly to pick up on the contrasting colour. Two cut ends go through the loop, one goes one way, the other goes the other way, and then you can wrap it. And if you were doing it for a bride, you would wrap the stems in a little bit of kitchen roll or something, damp it, dampen it and then wrap it in cling film and then use your velvet ribbon to cover it. And then it'll last at least a day because its stems will be in water. So there we go. A little bridal posy.